Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. S like scenario six. Sarah leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Ooh, a new character. Sarah. How would you And Dovahkiin ish. You can actually double jump as Sarah. Sarah's tiny She though. spoke in terms she could only hope they might understand. Of the fountain of wisdom. Channel. Through which all data flowed. So she's after a mythical fountain of youth. But it's wisdom. And she's been training her whole life, maybe. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle. Or a flea. <laughs> more, more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. That she, Sarah, would know how to escape. More like a flea. That sounds like a different narrative. The red one, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long. She then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered at the secrets of this world. And would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. <laughs> Sarah marveled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. <laughs> it's going to be pretty funny Sarah later. Wondered. The possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. <laughs> she can meet boy up in this house. Pretty fast. Oh, okay. A so single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. Oh, that's cold. At least she didn't say it to their faces. That would have been stone cold if she said it to their faces. Sarah sensed the presence of the fountain. Just one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. Really? And then escape. Escape. Wait, what? Hold on, I'm gonna restart. No. Uh, restart level. Yes. Okay. Wait, that's wrong. Huh. Yeah, they were we know. close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah, okay. sense the presence yeah. of the fountain. Yeah. Just one more portal yeah. to go. Yeah. And then, yeah. she would have the knowledge. Yeah. And 
then escape. Wait, escape? What do you mean escape? I see. Uh, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. In the finagle and panagle with the waffle fry and blah. Boom. Awesomeness. Bam. Oh, there it is. Thomas looked at the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This, well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. Of he was course. sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. Screaming. Poor Sarah. Oh. This is why it was gonna be funny. She got dissed by her arrogant behavior in her mind. Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cats who couldn't spell, he'd heard of the arrow through the knee. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that it was a lie. <laughs> Portal and cats, internet stuff. Cats. Very funny. Come, come. Come, come. Thomas knew where they were. He knew what they had to do. He hoped the others would understand. They would just be on the next portal. Thomas knew what he had to do in order to save his world. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Later.